friends, welcome to my channel. It's the Rainbow Wizard. I will be doing a reading. Uh, it is for the end of August and middle to the end of August. Sorry, it is the 11th. So 11, it's a special number. I am traveling for on Tuesday. I'm going to see my family and uh, I have a, I am an aunt of six and I'm going to a christening and uh, next weekend and I yeah, I will spend time with my father. He's, uh, he's um, in a home. Uh, he's looking forward to see me. So, yeah, I, uh, I've been preparing for that and uh, trying to get a lot of readings done before I leave. I know I will do readings while I'm away um, as well, but it will be short readings I try to fit, fit in. And I'm an Aquarius, very fixed in my setup uh, as well. So, uh, I thrive the most when I do my uh, the readings over the weekend, but that's uh, you know that, that's me. So probably uh, the next time I do a twin flame reading, it could be up to a couple of weeks. I'm trying to do extended readings <laughs> for some that might not be a good thing. <laughs> um, me talking for hours on end, but uh, sometimes I don't really plan it. Um, it's just depending on the time and you know the energy of the reading. All right, enough of me waffling. I've been doing a lot of waffling lately. <laughs> I hope you're uh, getting through Mercury retrograde. I think I was uh, waffling as well in the videos yesterday about my uh, Mercury retrograde misunderstandings and quite tragic com comedy stories as well. I'll, I'll, I'll spare you for them. They're twin flames. I realized that saying anything on YouTube <laughs> can quickly turn into... Uh, you know, this ancient story about a chicken that lost a feather, right? It turned into something wild, uh, you know. So, so best, best not to, uh, to share too many personal stories. Um, it's very hot in here as well, so I keep drinking water more than before. So I might even be more annoying than I'm usually. So, but that's how it is. It's going to be 30 degrees today. And uh, after receiving my uh, electricity or like heat, heating and cooling bill, oh, they, yeah, they, they, they know how to charge <laughs> for that. So I'm choosing to use the air condition when I sleep uh, these days because the summer is actually going strong. All right. Please fast forward. There's twin flames. If you don't want to listen to my the chatter I'm getting into the reading now <laughs> okay um, so I will be looking into your counterpart what is coming up I will be looking into you and I will see the likely outcome already in the corner of my eye I am picking up Happy time ahead for you. Page of Swords is a curious, someone is curious. Page of Swords is also a signal. It's that signal, it's coming from somewhere. Often it's coming from the Page of Swords, the signal. With Twin Flames, there are synchronicities, but there are still a signal. Some of you could have um, a cat. Some of you could have fire elements in your chart. You're being seen as very fierce and attractive. Now, your counterpart is already coming up as possibly going through one of their endings um, and where they're making a choice to, to either go on the path they've been choosing to be on so far, which is going for options, staying confused, not taking the spiritual hand in a way to lead them towards the twin flame or keep them to keep them evolving which is the part of the important part of the twin flame journey oh my goodness it's hot. and at the moment they are getting some much needed introspection reflection not rushing and uh, the reason for that is that they have experienced something that have hurt them. And usually, hard, like, uh, you know, habits are hard to kill, let's say. 
most of us only learn when we have a painful experience. They've had a painful experience because they stayed confused. They kept their guard up, probably stay a little in their ego, kept repeating the same, expecting different results. Many of you are going through a spiritual awakening. You are taking independence to a new level. You are shaping your life, your dream life. You are shaping your dream life. And it's also going to a new level. While you are shaping your dream life, you look good, there are twin flames. You're looking good. And you're not actually thinking so much about the romantic side or love at the moment. I'm, I'm seeing you all very much shaping your dream life, saying that actually, this is the kind of stuff I want. Manifestations, building a fortune, wanting to build a fortune, whatever it looks like to you, whatever value you feel you can have as an independent person as well, regardless if you're in a relationship or not, there's something about your independence that is coming through, shaping your own dream life, regardless of your circumstances. All right, I had a good dose of water. Let's carry on. Oh, I got this deck yesterday. After all these years, I never thought they had this size of the Lightseer deck. And I'm like, can they not just put in the description? <laughs> this is the big one. <laughs> anyway, um, I love this one. Very, very nice colors. I'm going to dive into your counterpart. And for those of you that know me. When you hear me talking slowly, uh, I take a while to get into the reading. No, it's not because I'm still waking up. I'm wide awake. Um, it's because I do read a lot intuitively. And once my intuition sort of clicks in, the reading picks up. So for those of you that wonder about my up and down speech, that is why. This person could have Gemini, Pisces, in their chart. They've, uh, they, they have hit a brick wall. There's something that's happened. They've hit a brick wall and naturally they are taking a, a breather. They are saying, oh, okay, I've got, I got, I got to do something different. See, they have, this person is a bit stubborn. They are very much, they could be in their, maybe late 30s, when they're 30s. I think the 30s is the new 20s, to be honest with you. And uh, when I look back on my 30s, like the energy and the stamina I had up until my 44, I think. <laughs> it's just different men a mental stamina. It doesn't have to change. But anyway, I'm picking that up. Okay. So, they are uh, looking at you or thinking, reflecting about you. What happened to this connection? I'm just looking at these flags. Finally, with, with my vision, I can see. I should wear glasses, but there is something about a signal. I keep getting the word signal. It's an unmissable signal. This union have always had an unmissable signal. And they're wondering, are you thinking about them? They are thinking about you. There will be a sign, synchronicities. And this time around, this union, it's a... It's more of a, oh, this is my twin flame thinking of me and a neutral perspective for many of you. But they are thinking about a time that it was, you had an, a romantic encounter. I see that this is someone that have, there's a lot of lust to this person. I see someone that looks good. There is, their alter ego is is running with them their alter ego their ego is is running with them they they could look very similar to that short hair maybe long hair could be you know i see someone dark hair but it could be dark blonde this person could also see how they like to see how they can pull the strings and when it comes to you they're not able to do that they were never able to do that they were never able to let you dance to their tune. You won't do that. So they went ahead and, and pursued 
others because they could pull those strings. They couldn't do that with you. It's more, I, I pick up someone a bit naughty, mis, mischievous, and that's just how they want to be at a certain stage of their life. This is what I'm picking up so far. Someone is saying, look, this is my time to shine. I want to live a certain lifestyle. They're they are living this lifestyle and that's that for, for them. But in their feelings, they are always thinking about you. And it is bothering them that they are thinking about you. It is bothering them. And that means to them, they know that that means that you've had huge impact on them. Uh, I don't think this person is aware of twin flames or thinking of a spiritual, many of them are not, not in the sense that you are, I'm picking up. What else is coming up for their twin flames person? All right, seven of wands. They are at, uh, there is someone they're arguing with. They could be a mother as well, mother figure. Someone, someone could have Pisces in their chart. I'm getting again, hair Scorpio as well, Capricorn. And the Wheel of Fortune. See, um, this person your counterpart, they are pushing, they are pushing their uh, limits, let's say. They are pushing their limits because their ego is telling them that uh, it, it's like party like tomorrow never comes in their way. It doesn't have to do anything with, you know, indulging in anything, but they're indulging in something. It doesn't have to always be the devil or you drink alcohol. But they're indulging in their ego. Their ego is the one feeding them. They are saying, you know, go, go and dig into someone, take, take what they have. And, and they don't think much of it. They could just be, you know, um, they, they are late. They're, they're, they're taking a while to mature. That's what I'm picking up. Um, they could have, I'm getting Gemini, Aries, uh, Taurus. <coughs> They know that one day they are they are going to change. They, they have got that signal and they, it could start as well. Something is happening with the Queen of Swords. If you're in a relationship with your twin flame, you have uh, the Queen of Swords, uh, Gemini I'm picking up, or Sagittarius, Pisces. There is a lesson they are learning and... There is someone here that is calming them down. Or something that is happening with someone, a female, that is calming them down. It could also be a sister, a, a friend, uh, you know, either gem, either gender. Gemini, I'm getting again. It's a friend. It's uh, whatever is happening with this person, this female, it's, it's where they're, like there's a turnaround. Something's happened and... Someone said something to them, you know, the Queen of Swords can be very sharp. It could be you, something you've done, something you said. There, if, if you are, you are, um, you have Gemini in your chart, it could be, that could be very specific and you're dealing with the Sagittarius. Something that you have taught them. Something that you have told them, if it's not now, it could be a long time ago. But something is coming back to haunt them and they are saying, Okay, I throw in the towel here. It's enough now. I need to 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 quit this. I need to quit this behavior. It's not serving me. It's not serving anyone. I see this person is starting to understand that this e ego of theirs, the devil, is getting them into trouble over and over. They're getting tired. They're getting tired of running into trouble. They are very very attracted to you. They want victory with you. This person knows that you are the only one they really are that attractive, attractive, I can't even speak, sorry, attracted to. They're really attracted to you and uh, when they're at work especially, there's a certain point in the day where they are thinking a lot about this connection. They're thinking about how playful it is. 
um, there's something very playful about this connection and they appreciate that but they also appreciate their romantic side they feel for you or the memory they have of a romance between the two of you which is different than the other options or what when, when they have had other people options I see someone here could be going through options like you know flicking through a magazine they could have been someone that is at some point in their life there something happened about their looks they changed their looks and started getting a lot of attention so the attention they didn't get as a child by now getting the attention based on their looks they feel that they have to catch up for lost time and that's I believe in all humans we do that something we missed as a child or something that we want to catch up on for sure it's happening to all of us if you all reflect on ourselves, uh, it could be some of us would uh, there's so many different examples some are in long-term relationships until you know late adults maybe in their 40s and decide to be single and then try to you know go all crazy and then actually realize that <laughs> it should be the, the opposite there is a reason why human history follow a certain pattern all right doesn't mean you have to follow that but there is a certain reason and when you don't follow it there will be a different consequence because you can't really change the law the cycle you know so this person is experiencing something like that it's a bit like okay i look good in the mirror so you know, I can act this way as well. And I feel fresh. I feel good. I feel great. You know, I'll just continue as I am. They, uh, they could be, you know, it's like someone that's flamboyant. And that can be cool. That can be fun. That can be playful. And this person is playful. I don't really pick up someone that, they're just someone that want to have a lot of fun and they don't want to have, you know, have it all. <laughs> they want people to look at them. They, they're, they could be very sexual. They're very, like, they are very charming. They are someone that have mastered some skills that they feel that is very valuable to them. But it's, Again, this, <laughs> this thing of mastering a certain skill, right? When, when it's ruled by the ego, that is only the ego that will clap and applaud, really. But how they see it is the whole world is applauding them. It's like, oh, they must look great. But if they saw themselves on a video, I'm sure, pretty sure it will look different and looks different to anyone else watching. That's also how it is when anyone is, you know, in, in their ego. <clears throat> but... With the temperance, something could happen around the 14. This person could have a tattoo on their chest, a new tattoo I'm getting. This person could have um, a tattoo on their arm here. They, they could have similar tattoos, but they, I'm picking up. They have a new tattoo in the chest area and they have a tattoo on their, their arm here. That is, uh, and they also could have a tattoo. Uh, there's another place as well. Their hand I'm picking up. So this person could be quite messy. And I see that, you know, this is someone that lights their cigarette with the, the candle, you know, they're like, oh, don't put the house on fire kind of thing. And they probably have done that a few times as well. They're a bit clumsy. They want to get out of, uh, it's like, see, they, they, have, <clears throat> they have a thing with animals, this person. <coughs> see, that's, signal have is arriving so there's someone sitting there and they feel like okay now's the time to run towards you it's almost like you have been talking to that eagle that is flying over their head and they're saying okay now they they know they're following a path that's going to lead them back to you but they don't know it is actually you they're running towards i see that this person is like fleeing they're constantly fleeing the building they're like oh down here down here down here down here all right so they feel like they are some kind of you know, uh, they feel like they are the puppet master. I don't see someone as manipulative at this stage. I don't. Um, I I just see someone having fun and someone as being a bit battered and bruised based on, you know, living either beyond their means or living, you know, in, in a way that, okay, there will be consequences. You will have a sore head. You might not ever clean up and all this, you know, pile of, pile of death would pile up, all right? But they know that they are continuing to follow a, a signal when it comes to this union. That's what they're starting to pick up on and probably have started to pick up on. And that's how they haven't come further. Something about rolling a dice, someone could have a tattoo of a dice as well. Now, they 
think that you have put a love spell on them. That's for some. They think that you have done that. And they could have cut and run because they think that you have done that. So they are saying, no one. Spell binds me. So that's in their head. That's their ego again saying that. Uh, it's an ego thing and uh, it's not really a real thing. I don't think see they're up in their head. But they are someone that is very uh, rebellious and their ego is telling them to continue to be rebellious. So that's that's them in their in their mind. They what's happening as well that they are creating or getting a few hidden en enemies because they are going through a lot of options. I see this person, you know, they could party a lot or they date a lot or if they, it's like they doesn't even have to be physical, but I feel it's like physical and it doesn't mean anything to them. Mm, and that's like they they could be quite messy at the moment and they are not really analyzing that either. Someone is telling them something. It could be a mother figure as well. I just see someone saying, so an advice to them that start to sink in, that start to, it's like, oh, okay. Their ego starts to, to react and, and fight against it, but then it can't anymore because they've experienced, they've experienced something here. Someone is telling them, and this could also be one of their options have done something that is like, okay, quit while you're ahead. You're burning the candle in both ends you are gonna get yourself hurt. So there is a beginning of this person's spiritual change, like they are easing up their, yeah, well, they are easing something up. Now I'm going to continue here as I also feel that this person, the crowd they hang out with and they could have someone that is very much no strings attached and they are saying that everyone else, uh, if you have earth elements in your chart, you are someone that is seen as a catch as well and I see someone is saying that oh no they they are clearly someone that will just lock you down and they're boring you know that's the the kind of if some someone know you they will be saying that that's what their ego is saying to them as well now they they're not my cup of tea you know <laughs> so it's that kind of it's obviously not true that they're your twin thing in your environment you have the magician you have willpower desire resourceful and you have the ability to manifest and shape uh, your dream life at the moment. Don't underestimate your um, abilities at this time. Definitely not. Um, and as you are manifesting your dream life here, someone is stepping into your life as well. But manifestations is thoughts, you know, thoughts become things. There is a person here that is on your mind that you see as who they are. You see this person as a risk taker, they're hot tempered, they're fun, you are attracted to them, but you still see them as only bringing the fire. You're only, they're only bringing fire to you and uh, you are sort of, you are keeping your guards up for them. You feel that you can be the empress or, you know, the emperor, regardless of the gender, you can be that person all on your own. You are someone that believe in, okay, if I want a child, regardless of the gender. Now, these days as well, it's becoming more and more common. Uh, so you could be one of these people that you will have a child late, late or you will adopt. Or they are just seeing an unconventional situation where many of you are moving towards your dream life and you are shaping it exactly how you want it. And you're not feeling any lack. So you're being a role model to other people. You are being a role model to yourself. You are actually, for many of you, you are sort of where others would be sad and following a, you know, every human is different. Every human has a, a story. But I see here the way you are evolving is that you genuinely are thriving as your own person. You are generally as excited about your own independent freedom as you are if someone steps into your life. And when it comes to this person, I see that you're also, you are attracted to them, but you know this person is a lot of trouble. And it's a bit like, you are like, okay, if, if I wanted to spend a day with this person, I need to take, you know, a month off to recover because there are someone that, I think I said that in a, was it Scorpio? You know, you are, their, your soul is their meal in a way. And you're like, well, you know, I need a good time. It's, it, you have that vibe with them. You, I also see this connection is that unconditional love. It is that 
you are following each other's life and journey and you've always done that. In a way it is, you know, that deep love is the same deep love as you have with a, a parent, sibling, child, you know, where you are on a journey, you will see someone in all, oftentimes changing a lot, not everyone, um, is, is like that, but many. So I'm just seeing here that this person, something like that, it's almost like a, a, a relative that you <laughs> hate them but love them at the same time in that sense. And you understand what I mean? I think it's 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 like you know they're your twin flame. So you know you are able to laugh about the, the, the comical in a way. You have to see it as a comical more than a horror show because this person certainly have brought horror to you as well, definitely. Mm. this person have definitely, definitely done that. It's not laughing matter. It's not that. But is the, is the kind of, you, you can't beat them, join them. I'm getting that with with them. You are like, you can't, you can't beat them, join them. They're in my head. I believe they are my twin flame. Okay, I'm shaping my dream life, no doubt. But this person could, <laughs> there is someone here that is, well, some, that someone is your, your twin flame. They are stepping in, they're stepping towards you. They are very obsessed. There's anxiety as well. They're, they need more soul food <laughs> and you are that person to them because you are their bank. It's like they're, uh, you are their, what's what's the ISA? <laughs> what call it here, your ISA? <laughs> when someone says I need to, you know, my ISA, my ISA, if you're opening your ISA, you can't, you're gonna screw it up, right? Your savings. You are their ISA. You are their savings account, you know, and. Every country you call it different. I don't have savings account, which is quite bad. I know a lot of people have. Uh, so, so you are that for them, and you know you are, and you are like, mm -mm. <laughs> no, no, now is not the time. You're not having any food. Find your own meals. I'm not getting, giving you any meal voucher here, but you, you are able to handle their energy. They are stepping into your life again. If you haven't spoken to them for a while, they are stepping into your life because they are, and you could be the one that turn around and kind of tell them your peace of mind here with the five of swords. You could be the one here that tells them. So you could have Sagittarius or I'm getting Gemini. Uh, you are going to give them a piece of your mind for sure. You are going to be like, you are going to get do something that is going to trigger them to probably fall that it's <clears throat> you are a big part of crushing this person's ego to start leveling up because as you level up they want to make you level down and i see recently you have gone through this change and transformation with the judgment you've seen it all you're getting downloads you your intentions is to fight for your healing Many of you could have had a recent um, setback. You feel like, okay, I, I went into my ego. I went into, you know, maybe I went too playful. It's not, the, the devil is, we need the devil. We, we do. The devil is playful. The devil needs to be, has balance of everything. Even the good, the bad, and the ugly, you know. It's said for a reason. Often the devil is the beginning of a romance. It is fun. It also depends on your personality. How, what, what you like. Every, everyone has a mischievous side to them that is an element of uh, union always. And the lovers and the devil, that mixture, you know, that's, the, you know, very, very powerful. But you are gathering your thoughts. You're standing up for yourself, standing up for your soul. You're being firm. You are saying, mm -mm, come no closer, my friend. You are staying right there because they will come in full guns blazing because... There is a bait that you are throwing out and that bait is, I'm looking good while I am shaping my dream life. And they love everything that is shimmering. This person is, oh, how are they doing that? Because remember, they are part of you. You are going to be noticed by everyone and you are being noticed by them. There's something that you're doing and it's in silence. But when you step out, when in the 3D, you're being seen as that guru, that someone that have been through it uh, to get where you are getting to but you have been doing the work uh, and that is the work in solitude that is the work of downloading and accepting pain that is uh, also uh, setting boundaries and knowing when to say no saying no to temptation is a big part of leveling up and it's hard to do that 
because everybody has different temptations. Temptation comes in all shapes and forms for everyone. All right, so we have the... Why is the Empress here? Why is the Empress here? The Two of Swords. There's a difficult choice. Hidden information is around you, lacking clarity, stuck in the middle. There could be a person in the environment that's very manipulative. Um, I feel... I feel that your twin flame might not be that person in your close environment because they are coming in your feelings. However, because you are attracted to your twin flame, whether you admit it or not, or regardless, you will always have this strong bond to them. They will all, if they are in their shadow side, you will always feel tempted because it is the other side of you as well. So I'm picking up that you have, during the time when you were very, very tempted by them and you also approved of them when you didn't keep your guard down, you attracted many versions, many clones of, of the same person in a way you it's like it came up like a different like a gremlin in different you know shapes so you could have attracted that as well and it doesn't always have to be romantic we could have attracted these situations yeah the knight of wands i'm seeing here that there will be your intentions is to put your guards up with the knight of wands behavior. And for some reason here, I'm, I'm going to have a break in a minute because I'm going to drink a huge glass of water so I can go through the reading without annoying you. It's some Sagittarius could be here. Um, Virgo, Capricorn. And I always say this, any signs that I mention, or if it's gone to any, uh, you know, negative behavior, please do not ever think that it is associated to a star sign, all right? <laughs> it is definitely not. Um, it's not associated to, uh, let's say, uh, a star sign is good, bad, ugly, or so on. But spirits is here to give you your last temptation and this temptation here will be difficult to say no to you are definitely definitely going to feel that on this one if you can't beat them join them you definitely definitely and many of you you will go with the temptation because it is your purpose you feel it is your purpose and you will have some kind of pain because of it so there is also a scenario here is that the king of wands is someone that is very focused on their work. So this is someone that could be a workaholic for sure as well. So this person might not even party or anything to do with it at all. But this is some kind of, they are very into what they do. They're very into to the attention as well. They're getting around it. They are. And uh, you are the only one that will distract their work. And I see what could have happened in this union as well. It is that, well, it always seemed like the best path, path is to, to level up and be good or whatever that, that definition mean, all right? But that is also, so, so it could have been a, a, a big gap at some point where one was extremely career focused and they work hard, play hard. And the other one, and you could have gone a more spiritual route, maybe meditation, it's like, moving into uh, very sort of, uh, or maybe it's like or eating certain food, uh, doing certain practice, you know, everyone's life is different. So there could have been a big gap, a big difference in how you are also leveling up and nothing is really good or bad or, you know, it's not right or wrong. Everyone has uh, the two sides to the story. When it comes to leveling up, sometimes we think, or oh, healing, all right, healing. Then we uh, throw <clears throat> our phone in the bin, uh, we drink juice, green juice from morning to evening we meditate still meditation one to two hours a day that's in my perception of sometimes leveling up but that might be not even in other people leveling up up some people might be saying that oh i i only have one drink per uh, week uh, versus getting pissed or some might be like oh i um you know it's like i i only party so much or oh, i don't do like social media whatever it is Whatever it is, we all have our own perception on what's leveling up. And many, when we talk about leveling up, you could be like me. It's like, oh, that sounds boring. <laughs> so it's, 
it's different. But what I see here, it doesn't matter what you do, what they do. The, here it is. The truth is that both of you are like magnets towards each other. You are. And there could have been a particular period where you both have been extreme. So you're looking at them. You're looking away and thinking, huh, I am not like that anymore. And they're looking like, well, if you're not like that, I'm going to be more like that. So it's a rebellion. It's like a trigger. That's just something that's going on between you and them. And they are saying, I want to see when you act like this, which they could be, it's almost like an approach they like for you to take towards them. Maybe you used to, now you don't because you want a different approach from them. You are like, no, I'm not going to do that. You are, you are the one that needs to do something for me. So both of you though have expectations to your be the behavior you want to see from them. Otherwise you are both in the five of swords. You are like, huh. So in this reading, <laughs> you both are successful in your own ways. Someone is, and, and, but this person is going to be the one triggering you and you might be telling them off in a way. So that, that's happening. Something could have happened also already in the past. It's like, it's like you were playing a game, all right? But you were both, you know, it's also love. All is fair in love and war. It was always love. It's always love with the twin flame. It's, you never stop loving your twin flame in an unconditional way. There's always, even, again, I do see the twin flames as they are part of you like an unconditional bond to a family. It doesn't matter if you rant off to anyone in the world about the period you hate the person or someone's done something. It doesn't matter. Your soul will always be telling you that you love, there is people in your life you will always love. Doesn't matter what words you use, it doesn't matter. You can never prove that to the world, but your soul will always be attached to certain people in your life, regardless of the outside. And this is one of them. This person had imprinted on your heart, your soul, and that's that. And you are trying your utmost to do not. Uh, it's like be teased by them. They're like knocking on your door. Hi, I'm outside. Mm. And they're like, I'm, I, I, I see you. I see you want to, want to come out and play in a way. They, it is a playful vibe. And I see here you are going to surrender a little bit into a playful vibe, even if it's energetically and you haven't seen this person's face. Something in the energy here is saying to be playful because why not? It's, it's not about... Um, and, and you are getting each other's interest. They are like... This could, could be a workaholic. This person is working, working, working. And when they hear your name, they, they have this smile on their face. They're like, oh, damn it. I can't really show it though, but... Duh. And at the same time, if they're in a relationship, something is changing, the dynamic is changing in their relationship. But you are the one that they, they look at. You have their attention fully. You have this person's attention. You don't have to do much. You will always have their attention. You, you, there, there is a breakthrough here. It's, it's going to be obvious to the both of you. You are still attracted to each other. I'm, I'm getting um, this, uh, this uh, Mrs. and Mr. Smith scenario. All right, you might throw these swords at each other, and you might tear down the whole house, but still, you will end up in the same room. You will. Your souls will. Your thoughts will. They will always be the one that you love and hate at the same time in this type of energy. But it's actually very even. You both, you both are doing... See, you have the seven of wands. They have the seven of wands. That's their intention, all right? They, you are saying my purpose here is always to have a purpose. I am striving for my purpose. You're downloading messages. You see this person. You're like, okay, I see them on my intercom. They are outside, all right? Mm, okay, let's set up my house. Okay, let's make myself look very nice, you know? And you're like... <laughs> It's like the, 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 the mother of dragons in a way, mother of cats, mother of dogs, mother of someone. You are the one, male or female, all right? Uh, you are like, okay, I've had enough time in my, my hermit here. I've, see, I've seen it all. Okay, let's go out and, and connect with this person. And this person is right in your face. This person will be right in your face. And you are like, okay, remember this. With your twin flame, you'll never know how, you're never going to, be able to know how you will react. There's one thing that you will not be able to control. You can say whatever you want, but I see here you're not going to be able to decide how you will 
react or they can't either. It's something like that. And that is what pulls you two very close together. You have the new chapter here and they're being assertive. You know, they are here. See, the sun and the devil as well. This person here is, is you know, you are everything they want. You are everything they want and you know what they want. They know it. They can never, they can hide. You can run, but you can't hide. They want you to seduce them. You want them to seduce you, but then you don't. You dress up nicely for you, you say, but you dress up for them. It's, you know, they're pretending that they are only focusing on their little tasks. <laughs> and, and they are saying, oh, oh, well, they, they, in their mind, the ego is saying, oh, well, they, they want your attention, don't they? Which is, again, their ego saying it. <laughs> And, uh, and then he like, oh, well, he or she, she's like, okay, I'm going to leave my little bubble here then. So they haven't turned into the emperor yet, but the emperor is also, you know, um, it's like the emperor in the, if they're coming up with the king of fire element, then it's very hard to like that. Then they will be too, they want to stay in control. They want to stay focused on their task all the time. They will sit, do it with a poker face. Um, there's something about being relaxed around each other not being a threat, not being pressure. There is, it's, it's, there's something going on between the two of you, only you know what it is. Someone is excited here about a possibility to connect with you. Very, so someone, now, the reason I'm saying someone as well, because if you're not dealing with a twin flame, there is someone else. There is someone here that is very excited. It's like, instead of the empress, they want you to be the temptress with the queen of wands. So you're like, all right, then I'll be a little bit of a temptress. And um, it's like, whatever you do is going to make them, it's a signal to them to break out of their little box of bubble of work where they're saying, oh, I'm only caring about my work. So it's uh it takes two to tango here and you 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 and this person could play this game for both for both of you you are doing something of the same you have done something of the same and you are both saying that you're don't you're not doing it so you are cut out of the same cloth here <laughs> that's, that's very, so it's the balance is here but the balance doesn't necessarily bring this reunion but for those of you that want to reunite with your twin flame and you this is the approach that you have towards each other you in your hermit you might have said mm, when i go out of this i am like and, and you're like are you visualizing yourself being someone else you could be like okay i'm gonna dress different or you know that you know leveling up is always in our heads it doesn't mean we you know we are we, we still uh, that's why oftentimes a rising sign can you know attract certain uh, you know, certain types as well. And that's not always who we are. So it's something like that. It's the opposite. You are the, <laughs> you are still you, but you are different. You have gone through a journey, but you still look the same to them. They look the same to you. You, you know each other's flaws, but here there is a hot temptation, but the temptation has love in it. There is a breakthrough. It's a, this is very much of the, I'm seeing the Mrs. Smith, Mrs. Smith, this is going to be how the two of you get together. You are going to end up battered and bruised in some shape or form. It's the way you got together the first time. It is the way you are always going to get together. That doesn't mean you, there is no love or this person cannot level up. You can't level up. This is, this is just how it is with the two of you. But <laughs> it's not, it's not ideal you know, but it's the truth. It's the, it's about also saying, okay, going on a spiritual journey in your mind, it could be like, you know, you want to see someone walking us, walking around with the glory on their head. It's like you watch the, the Harley Quinn and the Joker video and then that bubble pops up when she's like on the floor, you know, in the last bit when she's like seeing Joker hand over uh, the kids and they both look different in a kitchen setting, right? That, you know, of course, that's it's kind of also describing the opposite because you will look the same. You will you will still look the same. You might be in the same setting even. And and the thing is as well, it is to remember you have to like each other as people. If you if you think about how we change, you know, if you have a if you're someone that talks a lot like me, and you're someone that likes a lot of banter and, and jokes, that side is always going to be there. If you don't like someone like that, you know, that's 
that side's gonna piss you off. So it's not about twin flames that, you know, there is something about each other that you are very attracted to regardless. You do accept that about each other because you're accepting yourself. But you have learned some valuable lessons. And the, the biggest part of this transition for you, my dear twin flames, it is that you are fine being that person on your own. You have that confidence that you are fine like that, but you also have to test it. And that could be a little, that's risky, all right? Because you never know what's gonna happen when you're triggered or, you know, it, it's always a risk. It's easy to say, you know, it's easy to stay, sit at home and watch YouTube videos or stay on a beach or drink green juice as I'm using it. Uh, you know, it's easy to do that when you're on your own. Of course it is. But if you're gonna integrate with the world, let me tell you, living in London, every time I go outside of my door, I find myself barking up the wrong tree or <laughs> it's just, I just never know how I will behave. But as an earlier, earlier, sorry, as an middle aged woman, I realized there's a reason why people move out to the countryside. Because all the women, I think most of us, <laughs> we're a little bit loose cannons when we talk, right? So my point is, my point is here. The two of you are still the same people. You have certain, you are, there's something about your personalities that is always going to be appealing to each other. But both of you have suddenly said, ah, I don't really like that side because I think it is childish. I think it is arrogant. And I simply, I am too good for it now. So there are like, well, I will show you. Uh, so there is that going on. So you are tr triggering each other. This is, this is where we bo you both are a bit childish and you know it. But you have here, you, you have accepted this side to yourself and, and what you're attracted to. The biggest change for you, I would say, and that's a serious uh, statement, is that you have their skills that you have developed valuable skills and talent that somehow have come to the surface, a breakthrough because of this twin flame union. There is here with the magician is a purpose, you know, a twin flame union is meant to do something for the world. Well, we'll see, watch a lot of movies, you see the, you know, the ideal couple, how you help the world, you know, that's at least how, how I envision it. Yeah, it's not just hold hands and sit on a couch and watch Netflix and oh great we we two two against each other let's let's post it to the to the world to the Instagram and you know how lucky we are that's not a purpose is it it's a true purpose that both of you are developing skills that actually when you come together at some point if you decide to come together even though right now it looks more of a it's like a hot uh, hot connection there is a breakthrough there is you going back to the basics, let's, uh, let's crawl. This is very much like two cats scratching uh, your eyes out a little bit, but the next day you'll eat from the same bowl. You have scratched each other's eyes out before and it's okay. Sometimes it is actually better to, it's, it's two people like sh strutting their stuff in a way. That's how, how you are towards each other. And I think the, the interesting thing here is that both of you, to the rest of the world, you are seen as someone maybe you know, it, completely different. You you have portray yourself to to the world as you know the person that part of you is like. Oh, this is my this is my good version of my Harley Quinn. This is my good version of the the uh, the Joker. All right. This is you know if you go into the Suicide Squad. Yeah. This is how you are as well, and you see yourself that way. You see yourself that way, and I see that you want to stay this way. You are extremely sort of, um, you, you are indulging in your, in shaping your dream life. And that takes a lot of focus. You don't want anyone to distract you from the focus, but you are distracting this person. And they could be saying that, you know, you're blaming each other here. Now I'm going to look into, so what the devil and the five of swords is not a good ideal outcome at all, because this is where the two of you are clashing heads. <laughs> Something here is in the in the final outcome that is uh, with the devil, which is here what I'm getting. 
There's a few alternatives, all right? You giving each other attention causes jealousy by others because the sparks fly. And because the two of you might not have had that deep and meaningful conversation in a while, or maybe never, the two of you to the world are seen as just two uh, people that are handsome, beautiful, and that you are go-getters in your way, and that you like beautiful stuff, and you are, you know, you, that people could see you as someone that, you know, you can get whoever you want, that kind of thing, but that's not really who you are, that's not what you want, but that's how the world sees you, you can't argue how the world sees you, and that's how they see you as a couple, I see. That's a stereotypical version. So, the devil and the five of swords is going to interfere, and the reason for interfering is because they're there are other people that have seen you two bickering or seen the two how you behave and seen the flaws that happen. So for many, if you're asking, they'll be like, you two are terrible for each other. Of course, just stay far away. Because when you two have got together in the past, you could have gone crying to your friends, they're crying to their friends. And their, your friends, family, whoever is around you might have seen you like when you are in your rage about them. Very rarely anyone goes and say, you know what, you know how I showed all my rage and stuff like that, that was also evolving at this time and this is because of them. You both don't admit that to anyone else or even to each other, maybe not even to yourself. So because you are not admitting that to yourself or saying that to yourself or speaking highly, you're not, you're not mentioning that part, perhaps the world sees you as unfit to be together. It's like, let's not Let's not, uh, you know, accept this couple. So there is the devil and the five of swords here. And um, that's coming up. For, for some of you, I feel it's, um, you could be seen as someone either single uh, and, and you have, again, attracted certain many versions of this person, how, how they have been towards you. So, and you are like this terrible type to have. I want to clear that. Then they have been trying to heal a connection if possible. It's not healing. And someone is noticing their attention attraction to you. Someone is noticing they're trying to look better in a work situation where normally they might be sitting behind a computer or there might not be anyone around them. They might be the only person sitting in the room and they have someone in their own house and saying, I thought you are working remote today. And then they go and like get their best clothes, spend time in the mirror and stuff like that. Someone is noticing that and is causing this drama, and that could be around you as well. That could you could have someone around you that is uh, trying to pursue you as well at this time. So there's competition towards you for you. So the big issue in this uh, in this union, it has to do with feeling taken advantage of. So, but it's also that's a feeling. That's a that's usually also something everyone goes through. Because it's not really happening as an illegal thing. It's just a feeling. That's why, you know, everyone has this way of looking at things. As we hear often like, oh, they use me for sex. That's very, you know, a common one. But the thing is, no one uses anyone for anything. Anyone knows that anything to do with seduction, it takes two to tango. And the way you two separated, it could have been this, that. They are someone, they give a lot of attention, but they are not vulnerable. They don't show the vulnerable side. So to you, they gave a bun bundle of attention. They feel like you didn't pay them their respect or their attention back because they said, well, we're playing the same game and then they got pissed off. So it's also like a disagreement that isn't really, it has to do with the disagreement of your egos. This can go on for a long time. So if you stay stuck in that saying, they are the villain, you are the villain, you know, we, you know, you are always going to be this, ha, it, ha as long as the both of you, uh, I think especially them here, is going to flee when they don't get the attention, obviously that's never going to lead to anything good. But there, it's also here, you ended up here because you are also um, doing that together. And I see here that... You could have just said, I'm not playing the game anymore. And so because you didn't play the game anymore, that they thought you were playing that was playful, they have done, they're like, okay, then they flee the building and you flee the building. And how you view each other is like, it's like trouble. It's, it's more like, oh, they don't have any feelings for me and, and so on and so on. So it's, a, it's almost a debate here going on with yourself and it is it's a part of your journey. It's never really about saying, oh, Oh, well, I should just know, I shouldn't think this way. It's, it's just how it is. It is what it is. But 
there is a change here. It is saying, for those of you that know this is your twin flame and you know someone is being playful is their way and you have the possibility to speak to them, they are going to reach out. They, the, why they're reaching out, it, it is because they, they are loyal to you. They want, but this here cannot be changed. There could be jealousy around you. It's, uh, it's, you left the building in a, in a certain way and now it just seems like a bad stamp on this union. However, if you uh, confess and admit why you're in the same building again and again and again, why you suddenly are so annoyed, but at the same time want to run the building, at the same time you're trying to look your best, again, it has to do with an internal evaluation of the situation. And it can be extremely negative. It could be you are all different. And also that has to do with where you are in your life, how you feel about someone, how you view someone. It is always about how we view someone. If, you know, a person... To, to another person, this person might just be someone that, you know, they're, they're sweet, innocent, and they're, they're playful, but because the two of you ended up this way, it felt like there is like a, a battle between the egos. They see you as no one to play. You see the, them as just taking advantage of. And when you see someone is taken advantage of, then you go into a victim mode, and no one wants to be in a victim mode as well. And you are, you are not in the victim mode at all, they could be in the victim mode now. So, you know, there is lessons to do. This is two people being too, <laughs> the way you have been towards each other has, has been more on the fiery side, but working hard, you know, very intelligent, you know, very fun, all right? But there is no cups here. Have you seen any cups? Yes, just here. But this is like underlying energies, as I say, it's not the main energies. This is the template that's been left at. So it is like, for this twin flame union, for many of you, you could be just saying, it is not even my twin flame because this is just someone that, you know, it, I guess you put them down to, okay, I was taken advantage of, this person was just for sex, this person was just for, for playing games, I was just one of their options and that's fine with me. They're not my twin flame, but why are they in my head? <laughs> and then when you analyze it, you're like, okay, well, I might have gone through a few changes. So this has to do with, again, how you view this person and how they're viewing you. This is all happening. This is happening. And uh, now I'm seeing here that you have attracted, as I mentioned, you are saying, my intention is to keep flies like that away. So you are like attracting more of what you don't want. There's something that you're working on to see in a different light here. And I do see that you will have a breakthrough when it comes to the actual term being taken advantage of. That is also from their side. We all have that in our minds, I believe, what it means to be taken advantage of. What does that look like? And for some, we'll be like, well, that's obvious. Like, you know, so that's when we are defensive. So anyway, you are going to, to look at that. Because it has never anything to do with being illegal. It has just to do with the feeling. And again... Uh, it's something you can't even ask others because the story you will be telling others is the one that you will be taken advantage of and that's they, they're also telling the story that's making them look good so they are like there is something like that going on and that is why you two are not getting together in the in, anymore in the physical world because you are saying i will not accept that anymore i won't tolerate it that's it so so that's here can i please get a few messages on the five of swords here and the devil please Mm -hmm. So someone that had been hanging upside down, not taking any action, the, they are fleeing the building over and over and over. They are taking a long, hard look at that behavior. So there's a few, yeah, and there's a message coming in. Because what they want here is to offer this commitment. It is. But they are screwing it up. But it's, it takes again two to tango or something here. It's, uh, it's, it's like you will start seeing it in a different light somehow. So, somehow it will be. And it's not really about, about me persuading you. It's just something is going to click into place here with this twin flame union where you see each other in a different light completely. Uh, this has to do also with uh, reflection of your own behavior, maybe when you met or how the, the frame of mind you've been in. So it's something about your own reflection here that is going, going to happen. 
but there's going to be a lot of defensiveness. It's going to be viewing them as, okay, block the doors, hide. And that's, you know, it's a, it's also you running away from what could lead you astray because the temptation is usually ourselves. We don't want to, we only get tempted when we know we can get tempted and feel like we can lose control. So there has been this energy in between the two of you. Now I'm going to clarify here. So we have the 10 of cups and the 10 of pentacles. This could happen fast. And again, I don't know why I'm seeing this Mr. and Mrs. Smith. It's like no one when you start watching the movie for the first time could ever imagine that these two would end up together. Never in a million years. You would say that's toxic, flee the building and so on. So it's never really about saying, oh, accept the villain. You will know what this means to you because you're going to receive messages from them. There is something that's going to happen between the two of you. This fight and war that you have and the impression, it's going to be laid to rest because it has to be laid to rest in order for you to um, evolve. This is, again, it's like you have a this could also, it's like you have a best friend, right? And the, there was a few years you just changed so much and you were like, you're boring, you're too wild, right? We're not friends anymore. You, you are prioritizing me or not. It's like blame game going on. This blame game, that's going to be, that's going to be shut. It, no matter of who was, in this twin flame journey specifically, it's going to happen in a way where you are shifting that mindset. You are saying, all right, move on from that. Uh, if I'm going to look at someone and think about someone, if I'm going to look at someone in a way of the most like negative, but at the same time engage with them, then I'm not in balance. So your intention here is to say, who, whoever I do engage with, I must also take accountability to realize why I engage. I can't engage and then go all angry and crazy and communicate and feel like I'm being taken advantage of because I have a choice here to accept someone's messages. So I think that's the difference here. At some point, I feel that you were like, okay, well, I was taken advantage. I was messaging, I was meeting them. And, you know, again, they, they chose someone else over me. So there could have been a that, or, or maybe it was you. You both are, there is both of you thinking different things. And both of you, if you're telling each other that, you would be probably disagreeing about that as well, I'm seeing. So there is some element of stubbornness. There is key on a ring, many options. Partying here. There is a abundance as well. Separation. So every time they look in the mirror, they think of you. This person here also went... I just see again, you both went each direction where you leveled up. You got... Basically what happens when you level up and you go into alignment is that you start controlling your temptations and you then feel that you've leveled up because you know you can control your temptations. They on the other side said, I love the temptations. I'm going for my temptation. I'm embracing them. So again, they're also doing something right. They're doing something, well, whatever you do that is called good or bad. If you're embracing it, you're embracing it. That is a good thing. So, you know, you, you here is the one that's like a sudden change that it's like you had to prepare yourself for a union and a new face, but you also want to cut ties at the same time. So this is, is happening. It's, a, it's going to be a lot of emotions coming to the surface, a lot of passion. Uh, there is also a reaction here uh, to, if you see them, the first reaction will not be positive. It'll be like, ha. again, you two, this is a kind of twin, this is the, this twin flame union, sorry, uh, I need to wrap up now. It's where you always, you will always trigger each other and probably those that know you would say, well, you are kind of both doing something here and you both would be saying, no, we are not. Uh, so there's something like that, but very passionate. Yeah, I will wait for a sign from you. I know that I crossed the line with you. So yeah, I want to feel that way again. So yeah, that's a, that's what you both want to feel a certain way that you've made each other feel and that version of feeling that way, it's going to be in the format that is what happened to you, which again can seem to you as, okay, I was taken advantage of, or they were taken advantage of, or there's a third party here that say, okay, this here was a taboo thing to happen. But it's going to happen fast is a possibility here of reunion for sure. We have... See, 
the underlying energies here. It's again, the two of you want to play. We have Leo, Gemini, uh, Virgo, Pisces. Both of you being perhaps a little arrogant towards, it, towards each other as well. Um, there will be a possibility here of, of reunion. While you're shaping your dream life, they could seem like, okay, well, yes, I am shaping my dream life. They are not, however, part of it. So you could be saying that and still when you see them, hear from them, you'll be like, why am I suddenly starting to make room for them in my dream life? That's not good. So for many of you, you could simply say, okay, I got to, I got to heal my addiction. I got to even think, I got to think about someone. For many of you, feeling even attracted to them, connecting with them, you feel like, oh my God, I had a relapse of some kind because you feel you're healing and there's something about them that you feel they're taking advantage. And as long as you feel this way, you feel that you're not having a breakthrough. So you are saying, oh, no, 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 no. I do not want them in my space. So this is also is, is about breaking down your barriers again, because you'll be like, ha, all right, I'm going to go back on the battlefield. I'm going to show them. I'm going to show them what I'm made of. So again, then, uh, so there's something about the thought process. It's, um, it's, a, it's a fun also. It is, uh, it's kind of an explosive interaction. They are extremely happy to see you, <laughs> to say the least. You are their top option. But also here, there's something about holic, workaholic, something holic. Anything else here? And this could be someone that is, uh, you both, are extremists in some ways and even though you create something that is positive here you do anything else please for my dear twin flames but the devil in this way there's a lot of temptation it is the temptation the playfulness that's been kept in a box for a very long time and yeah it depends how you look at it there is an expectation here there is going to be reunion. Now, addictions could be affecting your love life. A child could be here as well. It is worth waiting for. Stay optimistic. Um, I don't really feel third party so much here. There could be someone have a child again. I feel that is happening here. We also have the... Um, the victory and success and rest and rejuvenate. During the rest and rejuvenate period, something is coming about here. Something is coming about that, okay, now is the time to, to reconnect. You have someone's attention. They want you to give them attention. They want you to reconnect how you used to or something like that. And you are like, no, no, thank you very much. I am not reconnecting that way. But you will reconnect here. Uh, it's impossible not to because they're going to be right outside your door or, you know, in that spiritual door <laughs> in a way. Um, okay, let, let's get a few more messages before I wrap up for my dear twin flames. This is one of the few readings where, you know, the devil comes in and, and it's not like, wow, it's like the, the, the bad thing. It's not really a bad thing. Not in this reading. Now, the, the night, there is someone here that has breadcrumb that's caused a tower moment. I feel also, okay, let's, who is the, the knight of wands? Who is the knight of wands? Yeah, the knight, there is someone here that is around you like that. You could also attract several people like that. And you are like, I don't want to, I don't want love. There is something about someone taking advantage, but... It's different when it comes to your twin flame. There is someone in your environment that steals, cheats, and there could be an ending. This could be an Aries. So many of you are dealing with, there. you are like flat out, this person, there's no nothing that can change my mind. Here. Someone here is connecting from the past. I'm going to get another deck. Um, because this could also, because this is in your environment, let's do see what that means. Um, the Four of Cups, please, and the Five of Swords. The Four of Cups and the Five of Swords, please. Someone in your environment is very, very manipulative here. Yeah, the Ten of Swords. That's going to be the end of that. You will be resting after someone taking advantage here. Karma. Five of Wands. Wow, wow. You are getting a download about someone here. Gosh. 
you've had a if it's this person you had a really bad encounter with this one this one at some point so many of you are like Ooh, this person here is bad yeah there is some okay there is someone here that have really been in their shadow side really been manipulative uh caused a lot of havoc that they regret you know it you see it you see this person here is very very reckless and that's the last you've seen of them i see that with this person so yeah maybe i'll take my words back there is also there is also this person have chosen this path when it comes to their love life their sexual life here i'm going to pull some cards here and see more so you have seen this person as at their worst which you would call that's their worst and it is because and again you see someone not taking action. You see someone going around you. You also could see that this person, there is some kind of five of wands interference here, wanting to argue uh, someone is out of alignment. But th this could be another person, to be very honest with you as well. Uh, this could also be third party inter uh, interference here because they're hanging out with a bad crowd. So that, that could be okay. Uh, the, the two of you might have this playful side and that you will always never, like you will never actually, again, I'm getting the Joker or Harley, you know, he will never really do something to harm her, but because he's acting the way towards her, all his friends try to take advantage of her in a way, in a nutshell. You know, when she's in that strip club with a, doing the pole dancing and he's like, don't touch her. Or, I can't remember that, but you know, it's the same. So they're like, she, she he is mine. Don't touch, you know, I will never, okay, I might act like a villain, uh, but I am not, I will never hurt that person. They know that, but they are, attracting an entourage so something about that as well now uh it is not about making excuses for someone this has to do with this is uh, you will know you will know what that means to you basically okay so yeah see here here we are getting the emperor in the reverse all right they are in an extremely immature relationship, possibly. Can I have a, a card on the Emperor in reverse, please? Can I have... So their intentions is to stay in control. Oh, goodness. Okay, so well, yeah. With, with, okay. So, yeah, it is possible that this person uh, remains in a relationship connection where they have the utmost control and they know that they will always be the puppet master. They have rejected a... Um, a transition before it's possible that this person uh, had been in a long-term relationship as well uh, and this long-term relationship because again th this is someone that's trying to tame them so how they are viewing this relationship again is how they would view if they were in a relationship with you but you are not telling them what to do in the way that someone is telling them what to do so they think that as long as someone is very aggressive that will keep them in some kind of check and they don't have to kind of uh, use love so this person have settled in a relationship possibly with a with a situation where there is based on 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 the kind of ego lust and staying in control that's that's they, they are have accepted that they don't want this type of relationship where there's love involved and you have evolved because of it but there is here this you are spiritual leveling up and how you continue to show this love for the memory that you have without feeling threatened is threatening them so that's for some of you here it's threatening them it's threatening their fire it's thre threatening everything that they thought they built and they have control over they cannot uh, i'm seeing here that they cannot control so there is them going into this every time they see you or it could have been going on for a long time. They are like, it, it, I'm seeing someone, it's like reacting as if someone, uh, they're a teenager and their parent is telling them they can't go out of party. That's, that's the behavior that I'm getting. And they are, uh, yeah, they're, they're, that's the behavior I'm getting. But actually, they, there is a change coming. I don't see you waiting for the change. Um, there is a reconciliation of you meeting each other and you are, there is temptation. I don't see that you will feel taken advantage of. I see actually the two of you, when you are together, it is a, you will always look at each other uh, in, in, in that way of unconditional love. I see you do, we have the year of the dog. We have the year of the dragon. We have the year of the horse. We have the year of the tiger, double confirmation of year of the tiger. It's, 
yeah, someone here is, <laughs> they are being stubborn and saying, well, if you want to play, you have to be like that. And you are not like that. And this person is very pissed off. Their ego is constantly pissed off. And in a way as well, they're trying to punish you by thinking that if they stay away, yeah, it's like a kid saying that, okay, I'm going to move out of home. It's, it's like they, they do that and they're just doing that to themselves. And you are, you are not changing. You are not doing anything different. Like, in fact, you're leveling more up and it's pissing them more off. It's pissing them so much off that, again, there will be a tower moment coming for them. But they are saying, nah, I'm going to stay this way and I have full control over my life. This is how I want to live. All right. But why do we have the Ten of Cups and the Ten of uh, Pentacles here for my dear twin flames? Why is that? This person as well, I'm seeing here, yeah, there is a journey, it, it's been a stop in a journey, but the journey is going to continue because one of you or both of you here is, there is a, a change, a spiritual awakening of some kind uh, It is here. Can I have the chariot, please? Yeah. This is a, a breakthrough in this union. It's the possibility to, to glue the glass back together. There is a message coming in and there's fear around it. Uh, it is a lot of fear around it, but spirits is bringing the two of you together. And right now you might be, no way. It's, but there is a, uh, a closure happening. There is something that is meant to happen between the two of you. I'm telling you, it's going to be like Mr. and Mrs. Smith, the movie in a way. And you might, the, it is also here you resisting that uh, any, you feel that this person will always lead you astray, even thinking of them, you feel that it's like a bad egg that you have said goodbye to and they can hatch, go and hatch themselves somewhere else. But many of you will come to admit to yourself that, uh, unfortunately, this is my twin flame and unfortunately, they are refusing to give in and give up a certain way of behavior that I won't tolerate. So, but then there is something here that's got to give in a way because otherwise something will not shift. And you will know what that is to you, you know. You will definitely know what that means to you, their twin flames. You will know what, what, what you're going to give them. What, what are you going to give them? A piece of your mind? Are you going to give them a piece of you? Are you going to play? Are you going to feel taken advantage of if you play? And that could not mean anything. It doesn't have to be uh, the old school. Okay, we'll, we'll have a one night stand. We get drunk. And then in the morning, uh, it's uh, <laughs> someone's fled a building. It's not like that. It is more to do with even any interaction towards them because they've left the battlefield and not apologized, not showed you any emotions. They have been rude, inconsiderate, in control and a brat. So you are like, I don't want to associate with them. No, but you are, there's a part of you saying, okay, maybe I need to look at something in a different way because I need closure of the situation. Otherwise, maybe this person is never getting out of my head. Maybe the situation can change. There is something that is going to trigger you and is driving you mad. Indecision, blindfold, stuck. Here's the thing, what I see here. <clears throat> and that is, uh, sorry, The more you resist any contact with them, the worse, the, the more holy you become, the more villain they become. So I'm seeing here what's going to happen here is uh, you might have stayed under the radar for the longest time and you have, it's almost like you hid your fire. Maybe you felt that, okay, well, I'm not going to entertain them. So let's say if, just to give an example, let's say you used to, you used to post a lot of pictures and you used to uh, look seductive or you used to look good for them. And then you said, I'm never going to post anything again because ha, that's their punishment. That's my punishment to them. So I'm not just going to flee the scene. I'm going, I don't need it. I've leveled up. I don't need this sort of attention. And that's probably true. Let's say if that was the point and there could be like, ah, I don't, I, I get the attention I want. It's something like that. But here you are going to show them that you are the better person here. That, that's what I'm seeing. You're going to get closure. Whatever it is that the case is open. It's an open case. And you're going to look towards someone and you're going to be, all right, then give it to me. I'm in the ring. Give it to me then. It is the Mr. and Mrs. Smith. 
There could also be, here we have uh, the, the cool distant authority. There is a breakup perhaps here as well. There is someone, if they have a third party, giving to two, so they're seen as the villain. Two people, you have reflected, and there is a burden that has to be released. There is a transformation here that is happening within this union that is going to close this particular case. This particular case has to be closed because you cannot go into another relationship or even... It's almost like something about this particular case has to be closed, where you take the upper hand, where you take that charge, where you make something, you're like, okay, let's put our guns on the table and let's see who, you know, you have to wipe each other out in the physical terms, in a sense here. So whatever it looks like to you, all right? They feel overwhelmed because they are away. Again, someone's giving them a hard time. And that could be someone that they were like, oh, well, this is someone that no strings attached. There is something about bullshit they have been telling themselves about this union with you. It is not true. So with the world here, completion, the cycle will close. They will confess and admit and come towards you that, in fact, you are the only one that has been on their mind. They are going to tell you how obsessed they are with you. They are going to show you how obsessed they are with you, but at least that is an honesty. This is going to happen fast because they can't bear to be away from you. They cannot bear it. They could, you know, there's no drink in the world that can make them feel uh, better than when they are with you. But the next chapter here is going to come next time. So you're going to, during, during the season of Leo as well, there are twin flames. It's saying here that you have fine balance between the temptation and the purpose. And you have the possibility to defend yourself. You have the possibility to also play without um, living in regret or grief. I don't see cups in this reading. It's very much gloves off here. Gloves on, gloves off. It is, it is very much, I've leveled up. I wear, wear the trousers. I do not, uh, you know, fight, but you will, you will have an interaction with this person, your twin flame most likely, here. So, yeah, please like, subscribe, <laughs> and uh, share the video. Thank you very much for watching.